Welcome, everyone. Okay, let's call our meeting to order. Ah, hey, before we get into our meeting, I just remembered we need to provide a minute for mission message for the stewardship campaign. We've been charged with explaining how the new member committee has helped to stay the church during the pandemic. Can anyone think of how we can communicate to the congregation how we, the new member committee, has helped to stay the church? Oh, yes, certainly. We organized and led the Prayers for the World prayer chain. That activity had over a hundred prayers written on ribbons and tied to the ropes we hung from the trees in front of the church. Great point, Harrison. Yes, and we also followed that up with the Prayers for the School Year prayer chain. We wanted to encourage the congregation and community to pray for the Tri-City School teachers, parents, and students as they were all working to get back to school. For sure, Sarah. And then remember Scott had that great idea of making signs that church members could put on their front yards to pray for the world. That came together so fast, I couldn't believe it. With, they had 50 signs made within just a few days. We also tied the sign pickup with a food drop-off that involved the youth of the church receiving the goods for Salvation Army and for Lazarus House too. And you know, I was over at the church, I saw the amount of food we gathered, it was amazing. I mean, it was so cool to see and it was great to see our youth handing out those signs. You know, we also had the South Shore Drill Team out a couple times. Uh, the boys were out for the very first time since the beginning of the pandemic and the girls were out just a couple weeks ago and they did a, a fantastic job. I mean, a, it meant a lot to me and uh, to I think our congregation there, but no doubt it meant as much or more, I think, to those uh, young men and women, then they did a heck of a job. You know, if you think about uh, some of the things we just talked about, uh, those are really creating a lot of, of an awareness uh, to the church and to the great things we're doing. You know, generally we're in our committee meeting talking about how we're gonna welcome people once they walk through the doors of the church and encourage them to become members. Uh, so, you know what, maybe the pandemic's helping us sort of morph our, our mission as a committee. Well, Scott, that's a wonderful point. And you know, when I think about it, I couldn't agree more. These are unprecedented times and they call for creative solutions. And we even had our first online new member class. Steve and Kristen Mock uh, felt it was a positive learning experience. And, and I actually learned a few things you know, that were going on myself. You know, it's been a long time since we've been in our church. You know, that said, our church leadership has done a nice job of working to keep our members in touch with various creative activities and wonderful worship services online. In these times, I think our church and committees have done a great job of carrying forward our mission and ministries, albeit in a much different way. So what do you say? Let's keep working hard to come up with creative ideas to get our message out to the community and other ideas to gather safely on church grounds. Good thinking. Absolutely. Let's go for it. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Thank you to the new member committee for that excellent video letting us all know what you've been working on throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Fox Valley Presbyterian Church is obviously alive and well amidst unprecedented times. My name is Dan DeSanto and I'm the co-chair of the Stewardship Committee. Welcome to the official kickoff of the annual Stewardship Campaign. This year is different than most and almost always, and our annual pledging is no exception. We recognize that the pandemic affects us all differently. Some of you may not be able to give what you've done in the past, while others might be able to give more. This year, we need to pick each other up and make the most of our individual circumstances. We simply ask that you prayerfully consider making a pledge this year that allows our church to carry on our mission and ministry into 2021. This year's stewardship theme is based on Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34, where God declares that I will be their God and they shall be my people. In return, the gifts that we dedicate for God's purposes are a sign of our commitment back to God. These gifts allow activities to continue just like you heard from the new member committee. Expect to receive a letter to your homes this week that contains a pledge card. After you've prayed about it, we ask that you complete and return the card in the envelope provided. Thank you and God bless.